All right, Keith, that change is happening. You see the clouds moving in over Katad in here. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen clouds in a while, really. I mean, you think about Friday, last Friday was the last time I saw significant clouds in, along the coastline here. Yeah. So we're going to bubble some up, and then we're going to go to a pattern where you can say, Remember the sun? So that's that's <laughs> how it is. It's an uh, average of its streams here in Maine. 84 in Portland right now, 84 in Gray, 87 in Freiburg. So a really quick run up to some hot temperatures as we talked about yesterday. A lot of us got to 80 before 10 a.m. this morning, 82 in Bangor. But there's that cooler air with that backdoor cold front in Frenchville, which has been hot lately in the upper 80s and low 90s. But the front is starting to work its way down from the uh, north to south and you can see some of the clouds associated with that and then another kind of prefrontal trough is what we consider it into the mountains with some clouds there that's what you're seeing uh, in the Katahdin picture is that prefrontal trough and uh, just now the first kind of thunderstorm popped up in the state right here you can see it just bubble out of nowhere and a uh, quick strike of lightning so we're going to see more of that over the next few hours the atmosphere is fairly unstable uh, and so the ability to produce thunderstorms will be pretty easy. Here we are, 1 o'clock, and then 2, 3, 4 o'clock, we really pop these up. Some of them will have some heavy downpours. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. They call that precipitable water, but it allows for, you know, quick downpours to come through, cause some localized flash flooding in a few spots if, they, if the storms go slow enough. Those storms eventually move towards the coastline later this afternoon into early this evening, and the heavy stuff should move offshore by about eight or nine o'clock and then after that it's just cooler dreary and showery and that's kind of how the weekend looks it models keep going back and forth on how bad we're talking about but none of them have a great weekend i'll tell you that with a lot of clouds around here on saturday notice not a lot of rain but some pop-up showers particularly along the coastline the farther west you can go the better off you are tomorrow with a chance of a peak of sun into the mountains and across new hampshire and then on sunday this low tries to come back in and give us showers again and look at these temperatures pretty rough here into the 50s at best it looks like for most of us. So we still have this model difference, believe it or not, with the European model still farther west, the GFS is still farther east. Not quite as stark a contrast though compared to yesterday. So they've kind of met in the middle here and the result of that is that we're going to see a lot of clouds this weekend and a lot of chances of showers. It's not a complete washout as the Euro would have it, but it's just not going to be pleasant. Temperatures are going to struggle and again if you go west you might see some sun, but most of us will not and so you can see those showers on Sunday and then into Monday as well and the chance of showers continues through much of the week. It's not raining the whole week but it's going to be hard to kind of carve out say 12 hours of sun and no rain. We start trending back up through late in the week probably turn the corner realistically on Thursday which <laughs> doesn't sound great now that I say it because it's Friday but that that's when things will look better and look there is some sun in here I think Todd's right to put in some icons where there's a little sliver of sun because we will see some of that but I just don't think there's a ton of it and temperatures are suppressed until again late next week Amanda so a totally different pattern we had been cruising since basically Memorial Day weekend and then we're going to take a little step backwards all right we'll deal with it thank you Keith